Welcome to my channel and this is Dora. Today I will talk about the best open form resources for free which can be used for both beginners to advanced users. And as a disclaimer I want to uh, announce that I have no affiliation or no connection with any of these um, uh, resources and I don't get any money or any compensation for this I'm just uh, sharing because uh, these resources have been very useful throughout my open form uh, learning journey and they now I improve a lot through these courses so let's go ahead and look at them one by one so the first one is the wolf dynamics so what is wolf dynamics let's google it wolf dynamics open form you can google it and now you have the wolf dynamics website okay here we go I'll make a little bit okay larger and uh, they are a spin-off from uh, University of Genoa in Italy and they teach very detailed and advanced open form courses and the best part is they give out all the teaching materials for free and here's the main website and here we have tutorials and validation cases that we clicked and now we have the tutorials okay let's have a look at the introductory training material which is the best for all the beginners and they even make the video lectures I didn't know because uh, when I started using uh their resources there they were still university of genoa genova yeah and uh, they didn't even have the video lecture they only had uh slides and tutorials and now we need to click this deck of slides and tutorials and here we go we have several like Mm, several modules these are the main modules and uh, you can see the supplements and the most impressive ones are these two all slides and all two by two so I'll go ahead and download it it takes some time so uh, not not a long time okay so let's have a look Well, here we go. We have a thousand slides where we can learn open form for free. Okay, and everything comes in a created commons license so we can uh, use it and share it as we like. Uh, okay, and I will skip these. And okay, this is the module one, and they have okay, they will cover the brief. And well, here is the directory organization of an open form uh, project directory, so they will show the details of every single uh, alias or every single directory and files and useful utilities everything okay and uh, yeah they will cover about the major solvers etc and 
here we have we can see a lot of tutorials okay so that's the introduction part and the, this is the ICO form okay a coverage uh, tutorial which is a very very a basic and very the most used tutorials so I will, I will skip it okay and okay here we go so they show how the dimensions are defined like this and they will teach you every single term in this cavity okay this is still a uh, an introduction even a deeper view it's, it's at a deeper view of something okay I'll skip all of these and we can you can learn about 3d dam break and flow bus a cylinder and here we go in everything in your open form directory is explained and they will teach you about how to create the geometry using this software this is an online uh, software which can be used for free if you are uh, using for academics and not for uh, your industry okay and well now here's the about the mesh and okay they will explain the mesh qualities used by check mesh in open form and okay here they will explain about the block mesh with several nice tutorials. Okay. And okay. You can even see how the your boundary dictionary works or something like this. I'm covering or even like forty percent of okay the page num the page counts and uh, they will teach you about the snappy hex mesh I once used the, the, the these pictures in my previous video and here you can uh, read you all you need to do is read carefully and test the tutorials okay and even very detailed very small details are covered Like this, uh, they will explain about the resolve feature angle, which is very important for getting a proper uh, snap hex mesh. And they will show the uh, tutorials. Okay, right. I will go back again once and. Um, Go back to tutorials and I think uh, okay here is the download all file which is about uh, uh, which will include all the tutorials files I can believe these uh, they give out these uh, case files for free there they have a lot of case files and I'll show you okay this directory and here is the tutorials they they give out we can have several tutorials about block mesh about creating the geometry about using snappy hex mesh and about advanced physics okay. I 
I cannot cover a lot of <laughs> all of these in a single video so I will skip a lot and yeah here the covers about running umbrella how to use the decompose bar and how to do the on the fly post processing how to use function objects which is very important for post processing to uh, to assess your results and maybe you can use the results for your publication for your paper or for your report and how to use this post process utility with very detailed uh, explanation for each term which is very useful for even uh, open form veterans I can guarantee you will be very fluent in open form if you cover all of this a thousand pages and you cover all of the uh, tutorials yeah it's a lot of work but you can make it and here uh, they explain the difference between each uh, discretization schemes for each term career terms divergence terms etc and uh, t temporal discretization and what etc and why you le you need uh, gradient limiters like this and to cover about the CFL number to uh, satisfy the uh, current uh, CFL condition and they will explain the linear solvers and they will show give you the Uh, most used linear solvers, GMG, is the most uh, probably is the most widely used for symmetric matrices uh, for pressure, etc. Okay. And they will explain about the simple and piecewise algorithms in open form, and they will explain the details about how to. Uh, adjust the solvers details piso pimple or simple algorithms okay. they will also cover a lot of uh, okay um, uh, implementing new boundary conditions using the code stream in this tutorial they do not cover the uh, programming of open form but they do cover uh, about using the code stream which is a convenient very convenient way to create something without too much coding in open form And in this module, they have advanced physics, where they will cover the turbulence and the main aspects of turbulence models, etc. These are like the basic uh, rules you should have covered during your uh, CFD course, uh, theoretically, but. They cover here and they will show you how to use the these theories in practice uh, in open form where to use wall functions where not to use wall functions etc and like this which wall function should be used for which Reynolds numbers and which sort of wall functions for uh, K epsilon and which for uh, key omega SST etc and they will give you the uh, 
the rules of thumb for estimating normal wall distance, etc. Okay, so they have a very much, very large amount of information. All you need to do is you just read and use it in your simulation. And here is the about the multi-phase flows and like where to use which solver to phase while form or where to use few uh, of phase solvers Wilerian 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 Lagrangian solvers etc so this is a lot of information and you can even see if you are a hydrodynamics naval architecture person like me. You can see the ship resistance simulation and you can even uh, learn about the boundary conditions required for such a simulation. Which is pretty awesome. Okay. I will not cover a lot and because it's too much to cover in a few minutes. Okay, let's stop it and move on to next one. This is the Chalmers University. Okay, I will Google it again. University open form. Okay, and here, this one is the PhD course and CFD with open source software. This is what we want. Here is the course. And unlike the Wolf Dynamics, and they have uh, several separated uh, PowerPoint files like this. What I love about this is the programming. Chalmers will teach you how to program your open form solvers, your boundary conditions, your function objects, whatever you want properly. And their tutorials are very good. And they will give you details of how to compile it or how to prepare for your solvers, etc. And they will even cover the basics. And but this is just a uh, tutorial, so it's the knowledge it contains is limited. Okay, this is all about C. So I don't want to spend much time. So, for this, for creating your own solver with a passive scalar transport. They are cover. They cover your bag, and they will teach you how to properly write uh, new solvers with an add uh, passive scalar and transport equation by modifying Eigel form, etc. Okay. Anyway, this is just the tutorials, and the more important things is the student tutorials or student projects. Where we you can see a lot of advanced topics, okay, and you can even have the files. And let, okay, which one we should use? Okay, let's try this one: turbulence chemistry interaction. So let's go ahead and look. Have a look about the slides. Oops, it takes some time. And every student needs to uh, create uh, work on a, a project and they will need to present. And the presentations are very useful and they cover a lot of 
uh, a lot of fields of, fields of study from like moving mesh to lab- laminar combustion to heat transfer and most of these solvers are their own solvers they created for this pro- their projects so very interesting and maybe you can use and modify and use it for your own PhD thesis even like this okay so this is the best part of this Chalmers uh, CFT course the good part is this uh, a lot of uh, information especially about the uh, programming and the best part is the student projects where you can learn a lot and there are a lot of projects similar to your own research so you can learn a lot So the third one is Hoffman CFD. So this website was made by a guy. Okay, I I want directly, straight directly. Okay, I don't want it. Hoff CFD. And here we go. This is the website. And. Tobias Hoffman, Hoffman is uh, this guy. It's uh, from Germany, and he is an open form expert. And he wrote a lot of open form tutorials. But uh, the problem is probably there is not much, so not so much explanation. But he, sh- of course, he shares the tutorial files like here and you can learn uh, most of the tutorials okay, uh, from by downloading the info. Uh, so what's the difference between open forms default tutorials and his tutorials his tutorials cover a very different fields of and physics he covers about uh, mixing. Uh, he covers about conjugate f- uh, heat transfer. A lot of things, and I, I don't know. I I don't know how which one I should say. Okay, and he also covers about the. He also has a book about open form. This one, and you can pay for the full version, and. You can download the free version. Okay, it, this is a really nice book, especially th- for the theory beca- be behind open form. Okay, and yeah, you have also um, Darcy uh, some tools and some blogs, but the most important is as I said before. These tutorials. Okay, let's go ahead and see a little bit. So he covers about adaptive mesh refinement and uh, tank with safety valve and, and AMI rotation and catalyst heat up, where it, it's very uh, similar to uh, fluent uh, catalyst. Uh, Simulation with uh, solid and fluid regions and with conjugate heat transfers. And he covers about combustion chambers. You can just run and uh, learn at the same time. Okay. Well, it, for the beginners, open form is uh, very intimidating. You have a lot of tutorials in your own open form tutorials directory and you will be lost which one you want to learn or which one you should uh, modify to create your own simulation. It's 
a lot of uh, unknowns and according to my experience these three will cover uh, you if you are a beginner especially the first one the wolf dynamics uh, in their tutorials they explain as I shown before they explain the very details and uh, very beginner friendly manner but if you want to create open form uh, programs you know, if you want to code in open form the Chalmers University course is really good and for a variety of uh, CFD uh, physics, Hoffman's is good. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much.